morning YouTubers. I hope you're all well. Welcome back. As promised, I'm going to do a, I hesitate to say short because when are my videos ever short, but a short-ish video about my initial impressions of the new Tom Ford fragrance, Orchid Velvet, or Velvet Orchid, I think, properly called. I better get it right to begin with. Here it is. It's um, been out in parts of Europe, I think, since May. Uh, not in the UK. Not going to be launched here until September. I don't know why we're so behind everywhere else. Um, it was apparently launched in the United States sometime in the summer. Um, I was kicking myself when I got back um, at the end of the first week in July because I'd just forgotten to look for it and I hadn't read that particularly it was due to be launched um, that week, I think, uh, and I could have picked it up easily in New York. Um, so I wrestled with myself about whether to wait until September when it's um, going to come out over here uh, and in the end I gave in and sent away for it. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm very glad to have it and try it. The reason I was so excited about this fragrance um, is that Black Orchid, the original um, fragrance, is my favourite fragrance of all time, um, certainly since it came out in, I believe, about 2006. I got it very soon afterwards. I've had about three bottles now and uh, it's not a perfume that I have gone off um, or stopped wearing at any time and that's very unusual for me. Um, I do have perfumes that I really love when I get them and I'm pretty sick of them by the time I finish or give away or sell the bottle. Um, I have perfumes that I love for a while and then put away for a while. Chanel number no. 5 um, would fall into that category, a lot of the Chanel's actually. I never actually stop liking them, but um, I might wear them for a year or two fairly regularly and then stop wearing them for a year or two and come back to it. So far with Tom Ford's Black Orchid, that has never happened. I just love, love, love it. Um, so I had high hopes for Velvet Orchid. Now, um, I'm very bad at describing perfumes and recognising the notes other than in a very general way, but we can all read about them on the internet. Um, what I would say from my own personal experience of Black Orchid is, it is to me a very warm, spicy, Slightly sweet, but not too sweet, not sickly in any way. Um, slightly woody fragrance. I would describe it as woody oriental, but I know that it's described as a woody floral. Um, the top notes are said to be um, jasmine, black truffle, lang lang, black currant, citrus. Um, I'm not sure I get any of those, possibly black truffle. Um, the the, the mid-note, the important, is the black orchid, which is a variety of florals. And then the base is woodsy with patchouli and sandalwood, dark chocolate, incense, amber, vanilla and balsam. Um, what I would say about it is it's a very, very strong fragrance. Um, most of you will have smelled it and recognised it. It's said to be unisex. I think it is unisex. I've smelt it on men and I love it so much. I'm always very happy to smell it on other people, be they male or female. But I do actually think of it as a, a feminine, female fragrance predominantly. Having said that, I do like unisex fragrances and I wear them a lot. I quite like a lot of men's fragrances. I certainly like a lot of the Tom Ford fragrances that are designed for men. So my nose kind of tends towards that. Uh, and I do like a sweet fragrance if it's done well and I think Black Orchid is done fantastically. It has a whopping silage. By that I mean the way the fragrance smells to others. It's a very powerful fragrance. Some people find it overpowering, and I guess if you don't like the scent, you will find it overpowering. I hate Poison, for example, by Dior, uh, which again has a very, very strong silage, and I just don't happen to like that particular fragrance. Um, 
and therefore if you don't like it the very strong silage is a problem because you know it, it is so in your face it's not a demure or unnoticeable perfume the other thing is like most Tom Ford fragrances it lasts a long time on the skin um, so you're smelling it uh, strongly for many hours usually after you've applied it and it really sticks to clothes and fabric um, because I think it is primarily an evening fragrance I love it but it is so strong that although I do wear it from time to time in the day particularly in the winter it's just too heady I think and so I tend to wear it in the evening I have a section of my wardrobe that has my evening dresses in and you know honestly if I go near that section even with the door shut I can smell black orchid I love it so much I have um, the body products which He's discontinued um, this cleansing oil. I'm forced to try and find it on eBay and eventually it will run out. Why is discontinued? I don't know because I love to layer the fragrance. The body lotion was discontinued for a bit but re-promoted I think at the tail end of last year and you can get that a little more easily. There was a hair fragrance at one time in this glorious bottle and I've got that. I don't use it an awful lot but um, it smells just like the perfume to be honest and I don't know how different the formulation is. Less alcohol I guess. Um, so very high hopes for um, the velvet edition which is said to be lighter. Now I do like it. Um, it is very recognisably. I'm just having another sniff and spray black orchid um, I guess because the central notes are pretty much the same it is definitely more floral um, and I think that's why I like it less to be honest um, to me I can definitely smell the sort of tuberose um, Heliotrope's supposed to be in it. It's supposed to have hyacinth, orange blossom. I don't get that so much, but definitely floral. The other thing that um, I definitely get, particularly when it dries down a little bit, is it being sweeter. It's said to have sucan absolu, which is a rum extract in the top note, and honey. And certainly both in the bottle, not immediately on my skin, but on the dry down, I can get that. It's, so it's appreciably sweeter um, and lighter than the original Black Orchid. Um, again, there's the kind of um, balsam, uh, um, sandalwood, vanilla in the base notes. I think it's definitely more feminine um, than Black Orchid. I don't see it as unisex in any way. I'm not sure that it's meant to be. I think... Um, you would look twice at a man wearing this because it is that much sweeter. Uh, I don't find its lasting power or indeed its silage as powerful as Black Orchid, but then that isn't saying much because Black Orchid does kind of punch you down. Um, it does last well and you can definitely smell it. Um, reading the initial kind of reactions, it looks to me as if most people who like Black Orchid like this one as well. Some people like it more, some people like it less. Um, people who were less keen on Black Orchid or liked it but found it too heady for them to wear personally certainly seem to be writing in and giving reviews that suggest they like this one better. So I suspect it may have a broader appeal, be less divisive than Black Orchid. But for me, it's actually just a slightly vanilla version of the original. Um, I think it's quite interesting that it's been created by no less than four noses. And it feels a bit like that to me. It's almost as if they've shoved everything in. You know, there's been a couple of notes from one person, a couple of notes from another. It's a bit, you know, kind of all things to all people, I think. Um, and... I guess my hope for this was that it would be a lighter, more wearable in the day version of Black Orchid. I'm not sure if it is or it isn't. I'm going to have to try wearing it for a bit longer and see how I feel about that. My initial reaction was, because it's still quite heady, but just more aggressively floral, 
I'm not sure I would wear it more in the daytime than Black Orchid, certainly not in the, the summer. Um, but I'm kind of open-minded about that. Am I pleased I got it? Yes, definitely. Will I grow to love it as much as Black Orchid? Maybe, I don't know. At the moment, not looking so good. Will it take over from Black Orchid? No, not for me, but then I'm a Black Orchid lover. So I'm going to put the link below to the um, place where I bought my bottle from. If you are in the UK and you can't wait till September, uh, it's not really any more expensive to buy it from this outfit. The names escape me, but I'll look it up, post the link. Be assured it's not an affiliate link if you buy from that link I do not get any money from it so it's not like a lot of YouTubers I'm just going to put it there to help you I think the outfit is based in Guernsey which is possibly why they're getting round the restrictions on posting to the UK that apply to America and the rest of Europe if you try to order on other websites you can't post to the UK because of these daft um, EU restrictions but don't apply to Guernsey because they're not EU members, I guess. Um, so that's a, a possibility if you can't wait till September. But honestly, most of you will be able to wait till then and have a sniff from the testers. Anyway, that's my initial thoughts. Um, thanks for listening. Bye for now.